What happens if the best woman team play the best men team in FC24? Let me introduce to you guys the best women's team possible. As you can see, we got some familiar players here in Hansen, Samkur, Bunmati, Putelas. I mean, this is a really good team. You might be asking, why is Alison in goal? And that is just to make it fair, because the women doesn't really have any high-rated goalkeepers. And let me just mention that this is done on the PlayStation, guys. I will show you right now quickly if you also want to get women on your career mode or to any men's team. You simply just have to do this. And as you can see, you're going to be having all the women players here. And you can transfer them to men's teams. Yes, I did figure out this a long time ago. So we don't have to wait until FC25 to get women on the game. Let's have a look at the best men's team. As we can see, the goalkeeper is the same rating as the women's. And yeah, I mean, we, we do have some weak points. Uh, we don't have as good fullbacks as the women do. But as we can see, I mean, our midfield is looking good. But our attack is the strongest point. Look at this. Holland, Mbappe, Salah. Yeah, and our bench is crazy. So honestly, guys, this could go either way. I'm obviously going to be a little bit biased in this video. I'm hoping that the men's team can pull out the victory. I'm really excited to see what... You know, the score, the table is going to be looking like after one full season. Is the women team going to take home the league title or are the men going to pull through and do it? Let's find out. Let's go over to player stats and Sam Kerr has got 23 goals in 38 matches. I mean, where's the Real Madrid players? Mbappe is there on the list. Salah is there on the list as well, but Swanson as well for Barcelona. I mean, it sounds like the women has had a pretty good season, so... That makes me a little bit nervous, but it is time to find out who has won the league. And it is the men. We have done it. But look at that. Wow. It was just a couple of draws which uh, made the women not get the title. Let's take a look at the other competitions. The Super Copa. Barcelona actually won it. So a uh, fair play to the women right there. Copa de España. Real Madrid. The men have indeed done it. And here we go. The Champions League has any of these teams made it all the way. Let's find out. And the woman has won the Champions League. Now that is crazy. When did we go out? No. They actually beat the men's team in the semi-final. Oh, that is crazy. So even though we won the league... I think the woman has had a better season. But let's not be too disappointed just yet. Because right now, we are going to be having a Champions League final. Obviously, it is going to be the best women's team. Which is 89 attack, 89 midfield, 87 defense. The best men team has literally got the exact same stats. So right now, we're going to be able to try to get revenge. The women are going to get us uh, started in this game. It's been a very... Uh, Boring game so far, you know, not any chances really, but maybe the men are cooking up something here. Erling Haaland down to Mbappe. I mean, imagine those on the same team. Kylian Mbappe with the skills and oh, he's done well. Into Haaland. Erling Haaland to De Bruyne, but that is a bad touch. There is some space down the left side for the men. Haaland decides to play it backwards. I mean, Messi was there on the run, but he ends up with the ball. Lionel Messi. In the number 10 position. And he's just passed it to a woman. And Buff and Holland linking up now. But Holland, man, again. He's lost possession every single time. And Hansen has just absolutely destroyed Andrew Robertson. Here is Karoline Graham Hansen, the Norwegian. Oh, this could be dangerous. And Buff in a good position. Kudal and Buff keeps running. And there we have it. Of course, it had to be him. In the UCL final, in the Real Madrid kit as well. It's going to be interesting to see how the women respond to this, you know, going 1-0 down. It is uh, definitely going to be more difficult. Look at that Salah with a little bit of uh, defensive work, but look at this. This could be huge. The women are through and what a save from Ter Stegen. Almost an instant response there. Trent on the ball now, gives it to KDB. Who tries the long shot, but it gets blocked. Is the woman going to get an attack here before the break? And uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold with some good defending right there. And the men might be able to uh, have one more attack before the break. And ooh, what are they cooking up? Kylian Mbappe on the ball again. Nah, he's insane. Mbappe with the skill moves as well. Nah, this is crazy. Mbappe still going. Nah, what is this? 
This is... No! What is Mbappe doing? Oh my god! Mbappe with a masterclass. The woman cannot control him at all. And Holland with the tap-in. That is 2-0 to the men's team. The woman has got a uh, task to do in the second half. I mean, it looks like they, uh, they are crying already. But yeah, I mean, how are you going to come back from this? This could be dangerous for the woman. Here is uh, Hansen, but Van Dijk with, uh, with the block. And this could be the end for the dreams for the woman. There we go. Kylian Mbappe with possibly one of the greatest performances you're ever going to see in the Champions League final. So we obviously know that the men's team would easily win this game. Now, what I want to do right now is actually score some own goals with this uh, team and uh, we are going to make sure that it ends in a draw because I want to see who would also win in a penalty shootout, men or women. So let's just get some own goals and um, we'll just get right into a penalty shootout. But obviously, yeah, the, the men, they, they could have probably got a couple of more goals, who knows. I don't know about you guys, but I am really, really excited ahead of this uh, penalty shootout. Obviously, the men would have won this final if it was a normal game. So, that's one Champions League for them. Obviously, the women won it in career mode, so that's one for them. This is going to be the decider, guys. The team that wins this shootout is officially going to win this video of which team is the best so uh yeah i'm excited to see who's even gonna be stepping up to take the penalties this is obviously the ai doing all of these themselves and here we can see the players they have uh, chosen and i mean some of these women have really low penalty stats i didn't know they would be so low so maybe the women are just worse at penalties and there we go what a start for the men's team harry kane up next and that is one nil Wow, the woman has got to score this next one. Graham Hansen with a cold chip down the middle. And then we have Neymar has actually been subbed on. Okay, Neymar Jr. stepping up. Is he going to bury it? There we go. The men are so far so good. Diani up next. And that is also in the back of the net. And now Kudal Mbappe. He has had an amazing final. And there you go. Allison doesn't get anywhere near it. Three out of three for the men's team. And Bunmati with a really nice penalty as well. Mohamed Salah is going to be stepping up next. Long run up and he's missed it. We are all even now. And up next is the woman. And what a penalty. If the men miss this one, it's Lionel Messi. You have to score it. I mean, he's done this before and he's done it again. No pressure for Messi. Now we are into a couple defenders. What a terrible penalty that is. And now Casemiro is going to have the chance to finish this for the men's team. He steps up and there we have it. The men has indeed done it. Yet again, they won the shootout. They won the normal game as well. And it is safe to say that I don't think any team in the world would beat the best men's team. Let's go for 5,000 likes on this video and let me know what you want to see next.